forward with Commission with number CU215-078 City Church of God. Please. Yes, sir. Also a conditional use request, this time in R10 zoning. This is for a church facility. Um, as you see on the zoning map on the screen and in your packet. Um, this is a mixed zoning area at the CH property you see at the corner, uh, the southeast corner of St. Augustine and River Street. That is the main part of the campus for the applicant's property. It's on the city church of God. Um, they own the parcels to, or many of the parcels to the east, such as the CN property that you see, as well as the subject property. There are two homes that they do not own that are adjacent <coughs> to the west and to the south. Um, they have aspirations of acquiring those someday, sort of tie their campus components together. They currently have a food bank ministry on the church campus and has outgrown its facility. They're looking to find a more permanent home. And currently, this is vacant land on the corner, which has a little bit more room. And I lost communication with the clicker. All right, while we're working on that, you've got the site plan. Um, in your packet as well as a floor plan of the building. Um, as we talked about in the work session, staff had a lot of concerns about this in the beginning. Um, we were viewing it somewhat as a commercialized or, the, uh, <coughs> or extreme of a church accessory type use in a residential zone. If this were on the commercial zone part of the church property, it wouldn't be much question. Here we're getting a little bit into the neighborhood on River Street. But to the applicant's credit, the way have, they have designed the site plan and the building have toned down the commercial aspect of the use to make the building and the use much more harmonious with the mixed use in primarily residential pattern on River Street. So staff, after looking at this also transitional neighborhood again, we have mixture of uses um, on the beach development map. And as you see on the site plan, um, the more intensive aspects, which would be the loading dock, Parking is away from the street frontages, um, and all they would really need to do is put in a buffer adjacent to those existing homes that they do not own and have that in place for as long as they do not own those adjacent properties. So, staff is recommending approval of this one as well with the six conditions that you see there in your packet. That answer any further questions you might have on this. Any questions, staff? Mr. Bolton? Man, you know the Residential parcels, uh, I guess, of the west and south. Are they owner occupied or owner I believe they're both. I think the applicant can answer that one more clearly, but I think they're both owner occupied. Um, I think they have already been interacting with the church itself. Um, I guess maybe perhaps be a part of the campus already, or at least a good neighbor to it. Um, of course, they were notified of the public hearing process by certified mail. Staff has not heard from anyone this case and really for any of the cases for that matter. Mr. Chair, mm -hmm. Mr. I, I mentioned that during the work session, but I would like to note it again. Uh, the way the floor plan is represented on the architectural sheet, it seems that the entrance is off to off Beck Street, but I think the recommendation ought to be that um, the client's entrance ought to be from the parking lot facing the church campus. Um, but that doesn't, hopefully the, they will be able to incorporate windows along that residential street to make, to keep the building look more residential as they have already done. Yes, and I remember the commentary of the work session. I have not shared that with the applicant yet. Um, in particular, I mean, the entrance, I think, sort of takes care of itself as long as we know which way is north, um, we know which side, like the loading um, dock doorway is the south side of the building not the north side, which is the top of the draw. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think maybe an added condition of windows along the east wall, mm -hmm. I think would be a good idea. Windows or faux windows. Mr. Ladder, I think just, you know, looking at this, this roll-up doors at the back. Right. See, the door would enter to the, to the parking lot. And the main door would be on the west wall, which is what they have shown. The drawing in our package is upside down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you put it right side up, it's on the right side. I just want it to be noted that the entrance of the face church campus, the blind entrance. So you think there need to be some limited treatment on the east wall also? Well, I think the applicant is trying very hard to make this building fit within the residential surrounding. And uh, it's very clear that they're doing that. But I think 
it would be nice to address the uh, eastern side. Right, and then those elevation drawings are showing the west wall and the north wall, mm -hmm. which are fine, but they're not showing you the east wall. Okay. So in the plan view, you, you look at the east wall, there are no, are there doors, are there windows? Mm -hmm. right. and that's not a very residential looking wall. Any other questions from staff? Uh, there's no questions for staff at this time. We'll open up. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor, please state your name and address for the record, please. My name is Gene McKellen. I'm the architect that's working with this project, and my address is 1806 Plum Street. Uh, also here is the uh, senior pastor and one of the associate pastors here from the church also. Uh, the lots that y'all were questioning about are owner-occupied, and we just had a brief discussion, and uh, we'll be glad to uh, add a window there on the uh, Best Street side. We have room there we can put a window that's opposite the other one. And I'll be glad to answer any other questions that y'all have. <coughs> Um, you've heard our conversation about look, ensuring that the entrance is facing the church campus and adding windows or some treatment along the side. Do you, is That's that right. Yeah. It is our intention that the entrance is facing the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And would you would you be willing to do add windows or do some sort of treatment to address the blank facade that's going to be facing the residential level? Yes, yes. We'll be able to add a window uh, there on that Beck Street sign that's there. That would be there in front of the office area. We have a wall there. The rest of those walls have uh, walk-in coolers and freezer in that area. I think Matt mentioned, I don't know what you call the office window, office window like they did on the, up there in Hay Hyra, that they look like windows. Well, I mean, I, I see where Alvin is talking about the window, you know, on the east wall, but at the north end, opposite the window that's on the west wall. The center one, of course, no doorway, but perhaps a window in the office. I don't know if that. Mm -hmm. well, it's not a very large office. Yeah, a problem to do that. Either. Even a small no, window no. there, and maybe where the walk-in cooler is, some photo treatment, you know, like we've seen on some other buildings in town, yeah. uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Wall one wall look like it has bow windows, but that's actually kitchen. Yeah, um, we can do that. Tell. Yeah, they look really good. They look just like windows. I and think. with the requirement that they be shuttered, that just makes it easier even yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. Can I have a quick question? I, I know that uh, I, I know you're showing a, a painted concrete block here. Is, is that the, is that going forward? That's what we want to do. If, if there is, what one of the other balances of concrete? construction around there for a concrete block or is it mostly a horizontal siding or uh, the gable ends will be uh, the uh, horizontal siding. Is uh, that going to be a vinyl or a or a hardy board application? We really haven't reached that decision about that. We will have a uh, shingle roof as we've shown you know yes, sir. again trying to blend in with the residential neighborhood. Any questions? Anybody else have any questions for tonight? Thank you, Mr. Strong. Thank you. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in opposition to this request? There being none. Commissioners, any discussion amongst ourselves on this request? If there are none, I will take a motion at this time. I make a motion. We have a motion on the table to approve. Do we have a second? I'll second. We got a second from Commissioner Willis down there. Mr. Chairman, does that include the six conditions? With the condition. You you satisfied with those conditions, Pastor? Yes. Okay. With those conditions. Okay, so we have a motion to approve with the conditions listed. Mr. Willis, do you want to second that again? We have a second on the motion approved with the conditions. Any discussion on the motion and a second? Yes. Mr. Gladden? Should we make the condition to discuss the issues we just addressed? With, with the, the window treatment. Mm -hmm. Is that 
Should that be included in the motion? I would include that as part of condition number three. Okay. In fact, you could really tack on a sentence at the end or in the middle. So would you like to address that verbiage? Sure. East wall shall include three windows or false windows. One operative and two foes. I mean, no, given we, them the choice. We will just you know, we leave it to their discretion, but exactly what just what Matt just said. East wall shall include at least three windows or false windows. Do we need to repeat this, Matt, or is it okay? Ms. Carmel, you good with that? With the, with the motion, with the second, and with additional verbiage from Commissioner Lavin? You good. Okay. All in favor? You got to see if Mr. Sandlin wants to make that. Mr. Sandlin. Mr. Sandlin, would you like to include that amendment? I include that amendment. It's all out in the past. <laughs> so we have, we have a motion with the, with the amendments, with the conditions attached, with some additional verbiage to amendment, I mean, condition number three. We have a second on all that from Commissioner Willis. Any more discussion? All in favor, say, I will raise your right hand. <laughs> Ms. Carmella, it is unanimous 8-0. Thank you very much.